at Professor Black. So for this week, I'm going to be doing it on Chapter 16. And Lauren, she's a communications manager for the Happy Trail, Happy Tail Dog Day Camp. And um, Cynthia is the associate manager and Liz is a general manager. And basically, Lauren's job entails of they were going to, the company went ahead and was like, we're going to do a barbecue to give thanks to all the clients and try to bring in future clients. Uh, Lauren's job is to promote the 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 um the the event and put in the um advertisement that's going to be free dog training, free food, free vendor, no entry fee, all that good stuff. When it came down to the days, Lauren was like, "All right, we need to start paying for these vendors, start paying for these extra dog trainers." And she asked Cynthia about it, and Cynthia kind of like sh shugged it, like shrugged it off, like, "Hey, don't worry about it. You know, everything's covered." Um, Liz didn't see any like not Liz. Uh, Lauren didn't see any further actions being take taken place for payments and she kept pushing uh Cynthia about it and was like hey how are we gonna pay for this how are we gonna you know fund this barbecue and Lauren kind of got it she kind of got frustrated with her and was like you need to focus on your job which is promoting and advertising about all the free things that we're gonna have for this event to bring people in Lauren's like well I'm not she saw an ethical problem and was like I'm not going to deceive the public like that's not ethical and it's gonna tarnish our company's name in the future Lauren didn't know how to handle it or how to bring the situation up again. So she went to Liz, which is who she's above, uh, she's above Cynthia. And she told her about the problem and was like, you know, this, this can cause future problems for us with certain clients. We can lose clients. Um, people will see this organization as not being honest. And the PRSA ethics code, number one, it was it said about the free flow of information, making sure that your information is truthful and that it's telling um it's not it's not deceiving and it's accurate. I think that Lauren was making sure on her end that the information she was giving to the public through the advertisements was truthful. She wanted she she didn't want you know people to be deceived by the company and you know saying something that they really didn't mean. And I think that Lauren handled it right i just didn't see why cynthia didn't see it as a problem and why she didn't why in the beginning they didn't they didn't have like a marketing meeting like you know a marketing plan meeting about this whole you know event like isn't that what you're supposed to do before you even produce an event like you should go ahead and have the um associates manager there the general manager the marketing campaign manager and come up with a budget come up with an idea and how you guys are going to execute it i don't know but i know this may be more ethical so in the future if i ever were to pursue a public relations career and i am in this situation i know that i can go back to the prsa ethics codes and make sure that the um decisions i'm going to be making in the future are going to align with what those ethics are and i think that lauren did a good deal by going to someone above her to help her make the decision so yeah